Hello Dragons, I'm Alan and I'm here today looking for £100,000 for a 10% stake in my business, Maruji Health and Wellbeing, which has the potential to help to solve the obesity epidemic. In the last 12 months, we've helped over 500 people achieve significant weight loss, an increase in self-esteem, and they have a much more positive attitude to life. The Sit and Slim programme combines the health benefits of massage with powerful mind coaching audios. We also have Sit and Quit for smoking cessation, Sit and De-Stress, Sit and Be Happy and Sit and Sleep. We've got a special audio for you dragons, it's called Sit and Invest in Me. Come on in. Uh, just put your shoes on. Grand claims from the confident Lancastrian. By showcasing his mind coaching massage service, Alan Sharrock is hoping the dragons will be more likely to offer up the £100,000 he needs to expand his health brand. In return, he's willing to give away a 10% stake. So, I'm going to put the headphones on. And Theo's going to go on a little journey to Maruji Beach the world's most relaxing place. Theo's now on Maruji Beach, um, enjoying the seven-star Maruji Spa Hotel. Is <laughs> Theo still alive? Could you just check Theo? <laughs> He's enjoying it. He's losing weight. <laughs> That's it, Theo. That's it. No more. Stop. <laughs> Alan's relaxing taster session may have proved a hit, but what of the business behind it? Theo Pafitis wants to know. Alan, all I can see at the moment is a nice massage chair, and I'm not sure what you're offering me. Uh, the business is setting up Maruji health spas in health clubs and on the high street. Um, that business must make a small fortune already because you've valued it at a million quid. How much turnover does it make? In the last 12 months, 195 with a profit of around about 45,000. Okay. What do you reckon you're going to do this year? Um, with your investment? With, with an investment. Okay, with an investment, if okay. you wish. Uh, with an investment, um, a few you making million. It up? Yeah, uh, five... Are you making it up as we go along? No, or? no, 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 no. <laughs> um, it could be five million. Are we going to make a profit out of that five million? Um, approximately 50%. 50%. Okay. I've now only got one more question. OK. Have you got any clinically proven medical claims that these chairs make you lose weight? Well, we're actually trialling it in the NHS hospital. OK. Uh, the answer is either yes or no. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Yes, there is. We've got a trial taking place at this moment now, you've in got time a trial. in an a NHS hospital. Alan. Alan. Yes, Theo. You've got a trial. There's no claims that anyone has ever made that you lose weight. Yes. There is. The NHS hospital in Norwich is doing a trial of sit and slim. Yeah. And okay. it's early days. All Please right. let me finish, Theo. No, I'm not going to let you finish unless what? you answer my question. I am answering your no, question. No, the first question, I'm going to repeat it again. Are you aware of any clinically proven claims that sitting in these chairs makes you lose weight? No. Right. That's what I was looking for. This is painful. Sorry. A somewhat tetchy opening exchange, and not the start Alan would have hoped for. 
can Deborah Meaden offer him any respite? I want to get some business facts because I'm a little bit confused. At the moment, you've got sites operating. Yes. And they are generating revenue. Um, the first site opened just over 12 months ago. Yeah. And that one has generated um, about £200,000 in sales. Okay. okay. Oh, um, hold on. Um, how, what was your turnover last year then? Well, the t money banked last year was 195. Yeah. But <laughs> when we sell a Maruji membership, it's a 12 month membership. So that money comes in over a 12 month period. So at the moment, you've got £200,000 worth of membership. In that one site. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the average membership costs £620. Sorry, and again, how many members in your first one? Approximately 450. Okay, how does it work with 450 members generating £200,000 worth of membership? Some of those presumably are paying at a discounted rate. No, no. I, obviously, I didn't um, explain um, the situation clearly enough. When we started, the, the memberships were less. How much were they? The average membership now is 620 and over the last 12 months, the average membership has crept up from, I would say, from about 300. So how many of those 450 members pay 300 pounds? Um, the memberships that we're selling now and have been doing for the last two to three months, on average, are 620 pounds. Okay, how does that answer my question, which was how many of those memberships were sold at 300 pounds? You have this peculiar way of answering another question that I haven't asked, which I'm finding slightly frustrating. How many memberships were sold at 300 pounds? Um, I don't know. Is that why you answered a question I didn't ask? The relaxed atmosphere is long gone as a more tense and confused air has taken over in the den. Can Alan afford Hilary DeVay any more clarity? Um, Alan. Yes. Out of your 500 members that you have, how long have they been members? And where Duncan can quote how many times his members go to his gyms every week. So you tell me, out of your 500 members, how many attend per week? Um, and then tell me I how many should and how many Hillary. should. Well, how ridiculous of you to come and stand here and pitch to investors when you haven't got that information because, by God, man, it's your job to have that information. I still have not got a clue how your turnover's broken down, the okay. state of your balance sheet at the moment. You were okay. talking to potential investors into your business. It was your job to come on here and make us aware. Forget the Marushi experience. We're on planet Earth in Dragon's Den. OK. You would make my foot itch, mate. I'm not amused. I'm angry. I'm out. The frustration boils over as the beleaguered entrepreneur receives a severe dressing down from Hilary DeVay. And Duncan Bannatyne, who knows the health sector well, wants some answers of his own. Alan. Yes. I, don't, I just don't get it. Are you selling this as a solver for obesity? Um, our Sit and Slim programme... Um... Can I just ask you to do yeah. one thing for me, Alan? Say yes or no. Am I selling this as a solution for the obesity problem? Yes, I suppose I am. A lot of our members are losing up to four stone in weight simply by using the therapeutic wellbeing chair and listening to the mind coaching audio. So somebody pays you money to sit in a chair when they sit in a chair, yes. the voice in the audio tells them to get out of the chair and go, <laughs> go to the gym. To the gym and eat and, less. And that basically, that's your business model. It's ridiculous. Well, it doesn't just tell people to go to the gym. No, what does it say? Uh, does it programs? say something like, don't eat fat hamburgers, for no. example? No, it might suggest that you shouldn't eat certain food. My point is that 
they pay money to sit in a chair and the chair tells them to get out of the chair. The only way to solve this problem, the problem of obesity, is to find a way to get people to start looking after themselves. I'm out. A second devastating evaluation and a more circumspect Alan is fast running out of options. Peter Jones is now ready to show his hand. Alan. Yes, Peter. Personally, I'm staggered you've got 450 members. So you've proved that you've got a business that could work. Is it a business that I can invest in? Well, when we're in here trying to look at an investment, we're trying to build a rapport with you at the same time trying to evaluate an opportunity and you've come in here too relaxed, not focused. So I can't invest in the business as presented. I'm going to say I'm out. OK. Thank you. Alan, uh, I can't imagine being in business with you. And my life's too short, too short to try and best guess what it is that you're not telling me or what is the exact and specific question that I need to ask you to get the answer to. I won't be investing you, Alan. OK. I'm out. OK. Alan, I I'm definitely against anybody who comes to me for an investment who can't answer a question in a straightforward manner. You seriously need to think through your attitude. I'm totally out. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Having received short shrift from the dragons, Alan failed to secure their cash. He leaves with nothing. What happened? Um, I thought it was going quite well at first, but um, but obviously it wasn't going quite as well as I thought it was going. Um, I was trying to answer the questions um, as honestly as I could. Clearly, I didn't do as well as I could have done. So back to the drawing board. 